Hey scholars, welcome back for our last final Fine Art Friday. Oh, so sad. It's okay. I'm sure you'll make a lot more art over the summer and I can't wait to see and hear about it. So send me pictures or you can always email me. All the videos will stay up over the summer through uh, YouTube, so you feel free to go ahead and check them out. Um, in this video, we are going to make a dinosaur slash dragon, drag dragosaur, dino, dino, um, yeah, dragosaur, I like that one more. You guys, it's a very simple project, but it comes out kind of cool and super raw. He kind of looks like Godzilla. I wonder if Godzilla is part dragon. I don't know. Show me yours. Let me know how it goes. I can't wait to see it, and I hope you have fun making it. Have a great day. Bye. Hello again, scholars. I'm happy that you're here with me. Today we are going to draw a dragon dinosaur guy. I hope you're going to have fun. I like it. I hope you will too. Today you're going to need a piece of paper, pencil, I'm going to use a sharpie, an eraser, as well as something to color with. All right, let's get started. We are actually going to trace our hand and a little bit of an art arm. So what you're gonna do, mine's gonna be different because I have my watch on. You're just gonna make a C with your hand and you're gonna trace it on the paper. Let's see how that goes. Whoa, that looks a little crazy. So I'm gonna adjust it because I'm not in a good position to look down at my hands. So I'm going to adjust a little bit. You want it to have that C. And you want the top part of your hand and your arm and the bottom part of your hand and your arm. Cool. So we have, so again, you made a C with your hand, you put it on your paper, and you traced around, and then you got your line. You guys can't really see it, so I'm going to go ahead and um, trace it with Sharpie real quick so you can see it better. So this is just a fun little project and you can use different things to trace but I wanted to show you one where you use your hand. I'll go straight down. Alright, so we traced our hand and then we're going to draw our eyeball. You can draw it wherever you want. Mine's going to be right here. From there, we're going to draw our teeth on the top and the bottom. And then we're going to do some, I think they're called plates. Yours could be spikes. Mine are plates. Down its back. And then I'm going to come over here and make its stomach lines. Awesome! And we have a really cool, really simple dinosaur dragon thing. So now you guys get to color it however you want. I'm going to use oil pastels because that's kind of what I've got. And you can do it however you want. It can be a boy dragon, a girl dragon, dinosaur. It can be like half shark, half dinosaur. What? The sky is the limit. So let's see. I'm going to do... His stomach's going to be green. Remember to send me pictures. This is the last week that we're making videos together or that I'm making videos for you, but I'm making extra videos in case you want more stuff to do over the summer, just little projects, because I'm in denial, and oh, 
I'm going to miss you guys. So I'm not ready to say goodbye. So then, so I'm going to do two greens because I have two greens. But you could do whatever colors. Remember, coloring, Missy lets you guys do however you guys do. If you want it to be a rainbow dinosaur dragon, if you want it to have wings, if you want it to be a unicorn, if you want it to be, I said shark already, if you want it to be half horse, what? Centaur dragon. What? Mind blown. So I have the panza done. I'm going to go over these guys with purple. You can make spikes instead of rounded plates the way I did. Half circles, to be exact. You can do however you want. Whatever you want. However, whatever you want. It's just a very simple project. Anyone can do it, or you can trace your hand and make something else. I'd love to see that too. If you don't want to do this project, that's perfectly fine. I will have other ones. Or again, you can choose and just draw and create anything. These videos are just for inspiration. They're not something you have to have to do. I just want to help the people who have a harder time figuring out what they want to draw. If you know exactly what you want to draw, I'm not going to try and stop you. I want you guys to do the best you can and that means do whatever you want you know like if you're more interested in what you're drawing you don't need to draw my dinosaur dragon thing you can draw something else all right let's see You can do some patterns, some designs. Mine's gonna have polka dots. All over him. Now let's go back to the blue. excited that you guys are almost done. You have summer coming up. It feels already that we've had an extra long summer. But I'm curious as to what you guys are going to do. Let me know. I'd love to hear or see pictures. I just finished our um, fine art slideshow today, so that'll air tomorrow on Dojo. So if you send in art, if you sent in artwork, then your artwork will be on that slideshow. You can still send me pictures even though school's over too. I will still be connected to Dojo in case you choose that that's what you want to do. I would love to see the art that you make throughout the summer as well. I get really excited when you guys get creative. I think that it's really inspiring when you guys get excited about your art and what you're making. Or when you guys just make stuff. I get super excited when you guys make stuff. It makes me very happy. Hold on. Whoops. Alright. Almost done.
Um, now going back in for the circles. Ooh, they're going to look kind of green because we all know that blue and yellow make green. That'll be kind of cool. So you guys can draw fire coming out of his mouth. You can draw anything in the background that you want. Remember, the background is not the back of the paper. It is around your artwork. Looks fun. Awesome. So from here, I think I'm going to go back through and color these in with purple. And we have our dinosaur dragon hand artwork. Great job, guys. I can't wait to see how you guys change it up and make it your own. Have a good day. We'll see what we can come up with next.